Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The incredible ancient rock art at Serrania La Lindosa in Colombia is a truly beautiful canvas containing humans, animals, nature, symbols and more. Art that can be found across 8 miles of land, but in the past few years there has been some controversy about its age, with some saying it's only a few centuries old, not 11,600 years old like others have claimed. The astonishing work of art can be found on the remote banks of the Guarabero River, an area that's been off limits for a long time because of the Colombian Civil War, but recent expeditions have sparked renewed interest in this site. The biodiversity of the Amazon is painted, with land and aquatic creatures, as well as trees and plants. Some animals are painted very large compared to humans, and although some people think it's just perspective, or maybe artistic license, others believe it's a fairly accurate representation of animal life in the Ice Age. Leading the charge on the latter interpretation is Dr Jose Iriarte of the University of Exeter in the UK, and he and his colleagues have recently published a new study, available to download as a PDF and link below, which does go into some detail to identify the now extinct animals on display. It really is a controversial subject, but also important, because if the archaeologists are proved correct, this large canvas of rock art is a unique and priceless insight into the lives of our ancestors 12,600 years ago. Detractors such as Fernando Urbina and George Penner at the University of Columbia believe the scenes depict animals that were introduced by Europeans, making the artwork a few centuries old at the most, an idea backed up by the exceptional preservation of the paint, despite its exposure to the elements. Some believe that the rock art should not look so pristine if it really was painted around the beginning of the Younger Dryas. So where does the 12,600 year old date come from? Why is there controversy when there are scientific ways to date rock art? Well, the red pigments that were used to make it have not yet been directly dated. The Ice Age date comes from ochre fragments and the layers of sediment found on the ground beneath the painted vertical rock faces. Due to the sediments in which they were found in, the ochre fragments were dated to 12,600 years ago, and so it is fair to associate the fragments with the red painted scenes above. But of course this isn't conclusive, but apparently later this year we do expect to have a more accurate date. The problem is, you can't directly date ochre using radiocarbon methods, so experts are hoping that the ancient artists mix the ochre with some kind of organic binding agent which will produce a relatively accurate date. But the experts at the University of Exeter are convinced, and they believe they've identified a number of extinct species in the art, many of which disappeared during or after the Younger Dryas climate catastrophe when the Earth was plunged into another ice age. As we know, there is a persisting debate about what caused the megafaunal extinctions in the Americas, with ideas including an impact event, the reduced temperatures, and also human predation. In truth, there is probably more than one factor involved, and it also depends on your locality. So, let's take a look at which megafauna are displayed in the art. One such animal that's seen at La Lindosa is an adult giant sloth, with a small offspring in tow. We can see the size of the animal compared to the humans in front of it. This animal is called a gomphothere, if I've said that correctly, an elephant-like creature that went extinct sometime around 11,000 years ago. This could be a hippidean, an extinct genus of horse that lived in South America between 2 million and 11,000 years ago. This has been interpreted as a camelid creature, possibly a paleolama, which also became extinct at the same time around 11,000 years ago. This bizarre looking creature is something known as a macrocanid. Again, I probably said that wrong. 
a large, long-necked and long-limbed, three-toed native South American mammal. So, if it is proved that the rock art does date to just before the Younger Dryas, we are looking at a picture of South America 12,600 years ago, showing how humans and megafauna coexisted, how the huge animals were viewed by our ancestors, at a time when humans were beginning to populate South America on a larger scale. This really was a time of exploration for humanity, a time when early pioneers constructed and defined their place in the landscape. And well, this could be their worldview just before the Younger Dryas, which I'm sure you'll agree is an amazing thought. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.